Welcome back to Black, you beautiful people. I'm in a good mood today. Let's see if we can't ruin that. I am, however, going to turn the game audio down just a little bit more. Because, again, I feel it's overpowering me, and I don't want it to do that. So, we're going over to the Trenesca border crossing. I'm going to turn off my fan. No, I'll leave it on. It's okay. Um, so, again, we're just going to go normal. And I do believe a cutscene is going to play once I select this. Down. I wasn't going to let this guy get away. The hallway and the first floor were clear. I heard movement above and made my way up. And that's when I saw him. The fourth guy? Yeah, the fourth guy. The after-action report you filed states he got the drop on you. But he doesn't fire. Why? He was American. Not Russian. Not German. Not Chechen. American. Interesting. And how do you know that? He spoke to me. And what did this American say to you? I can't remember. RPG hit the building. Everything's blank after that. And your next assignment? Doubleheader. Destroy a seventh wave weapons cache and stronghold at Nazran. You were ordered to RV with a Lieutenant McCarver en route to the objective? Yes. It would have been a breeze if the maps and the intel on the border crossing wasn't at a date. The only thing right about it was the farm. I had to uh, turn the game audio up because you guys couldn't hear anything I could see on the game audio. <sighs> Five in the morning! Oh. So this is a cool mission. I love this mission. This is Bravo 3 radio check over. Huh, so I do believe there's a collectible in here. I might have already gotten it. Like I said, I've played this before. Um. Ah, oh, damn. I am so behind on my Russian. Oh, I used to know what that says. Oh, it's in English below it. <laughs> or, that's not English. Okay. Well, I'm not going to shoot that, because... This is a cool mission. 2-1, two, 2-1, one, two, one. do you copy? Over. 2-1, do you read me? Over. If you copy, I am proceeding to RV. Out. Oh, is that how I aim down sights? Oh, that's garbage. Um, yeah, this is a cool mission. You can supposedly do it Probably stealthily, two, one, but... Three. Do you copy? Over. I think the best way to do it is to avoid everyone, but, like, even if you try to do it stealthily, like, you can't. It's pretty much impossible. You will almost always get spotted or always, like, give away your position. What's my other weapon? Oh, I just have the pistol. Okay. Now, there is... Yeah, see? What the hell was that? So I'm just gonna... You know. Right, ace to reload. Okay, I'm gonna take up the AK-47. Now, uh, if you go over here... Oh, is it over here? Oh, over here. So there's a cave down here. And there is a guy in here, so we are just going to take him out. Get like a hit. So, you guys can see that he fired off a whole... Targets neutralized. God, that's loud. Um, so you guys can, um... See, he fired his gun while he died. That can hit you and it can kill you. So, this is cool. AK-47 suppressor picked up. So, you do this and then you hit up. Oh, no, that's how you change, uh... So you change the thing. Alright, I don't know how to put the suppressor on. Down? Is it down? No, it's not down. I know right is a health kit. I'm full on health, though. And you guys might notice there's no HUD, there's no map. Uh, but luckily the missions, the missions are pretty, pretty linear. So, you know. Uh, but for the sake of some collectibles, I'm going to go around and look. 
I don't think I know, I know where they all are. Oh, shit. That guy's coming. That one go up here. I don't think... I think it's also taken some of the collectibles out. Even though I started a new game and everything. But, you know. I wonder if I can just hit this guy. Nope. I'm doing so many different things because the buttons are all... Oh, it's Y! That's how I do it. Okay, I'm gonna switch to this. See, that's... Why... Why is it Y? I didn't know why I put it on. Son of a bitch. I don't know why I put this on. Is that the word? Everything is. Ooh. Nope. It's not what I wanted. I hit Y to switch weapons. I can change this out. Sweet. Take a look at this. This is garbage. For the time, though, it was pretty sweet. 2-1, this is 3. Do you copy? <laughs> Goodbye, bitch. Uh, oh, shit. So, yeah, there are caves everywhere um, that you can. Everyone, this is three, nothing heard. Proceeding to top out over. Man, the shotgun is overpowered. So you do have to go through this one, though, to uh, continue the mission. Right. Now, I am going to try to do this silently. Never mind. I'm just going to keep it on, though. Can I not jump? I don't think I can jump. God, I'm just... Oh, it is down. Never mind. Okay. It's down on the D-pad to heal. thought for sure it said it was... Uh, right, but... Okay. So I think you have to shoot that to actually get through here. I don't think there's another way you can go around or anything. And I can't jump. That is not a thing I can do. Ouch. There was a dude over here. I don't know where he went. Oh, there he is. Go down! <laughs> I can't run either. Yeah. 
Yeah, boy. Oh, these guys are. Okay. Oh, god damn it. Another thing that was big for this game was that you could change the environment slightly, like those boards up there, I could shoot those down. You know. I'm gonna go pick the other stuff up. Yeah, but you know. That was a big thing back then. Back then you couldn't shoot through or do anything really. With the environment. I mean yeah, there were like explosive cars and you could blow stuff up, but I also love this like instant rust that everything gets in older games when they exploded. Just instant rust. I remember playing uh, GTA San Andreas and that was something that always happened. The cars would explode and they'd instantly rust. There's a lot of that gonna be happening. Oh. Wanted list. I could squeeze between those trees. Whoa. Ah, oh, there's a lot of them up here. Oh, so there's a safe, you need to destroy that. There we go. So that's another thing, you hit explosives and they'll trigger train, uh, chain reactions if they're close enough together. Uh, there's one mission in this game that that's gonna come and be a massive advantage to you. Yeah, burst fire seems to, this guy's really far away. So he's taking a while. Burst fire seems to uh, work the best. I'm not even sure I'm hitting them. Hit that guy right in the head. <laughs> Come on, just fall over. Okay, he's dead. Uh, I have to go down. One more guy. I'll find him. He's shooting at me. I'm not seeing no muzzle flashes or nothing. So yeah. Oh hey. North Korean nuclear plants. Oh, you took two shots to go down. 
<laughs> just... <sighs> yeah, there won't be a lot of health like this in later missions. There'll just be less guys who drop it. Um, I'm gonna go over and check that building. But, um, yeah, the, uh, those guys are more heavily armored than, uh, the regular guys, but they're not even the heaviest armored. There's these guys that wear, like, these ballistic face shields and everything, and they also, oh, I'll take that. How to make a dirty bomb. Nice. So if you collect one of each, I think it just, or if you collect just three of any of them, I think it uh, gives you the, the thing. Oh crap. That's not good. Wow, he really missed. Alright, so there's a dude with an RPG that we gotta go deal with. Yeah, the fire can't hurt. Oh shit, no, the fire can't hurt you. My mistake, the fire definitely could hurt you. <laughs> Ow, he was hot. Oh, wait, there's one more building I gotta check. Uh huh. Oh. Oh, looks like there was a prison here. Alright, let's go. Yeah, you can't get up in the towers. I'm not going to stand behind that truck. Are you just going to dodge rockets? Luckily, they come real slow, like. Ouch. Okay, that one kind of. That's hot the blast radius on that one. What the? I don't know what that means. I've heard it before, but I'm not sure what it means. This is a cool little piece. So if all these boxes have ammunition in them, and you can shoot them and they do the... That's not how that works, but, you know. Who's gonna argue with the American with a gun? Nobody, that's who. This guy heard none of this. Not a single thing. Figures 2-0 until RV blockhouse has fallen over. Nothing heard out. 2-1, this is 3-RV now. Looks that over. If you read me, stage 2 now in play. I am moving forward out. Okay, so over here. This is, I believe, an armament. An armament? Uh, secondary objective, but either way, you're gonna want to pick up this RPG. Blockhouse now, checking the yard over. Yeah, you found the hidden RPG. So you're gonna want this because you're gonna want. To... Try to aim down sides there. You're just gonna want to light this bridge up. This is three. I'm taking... This is three. I have heavy forces defending blockhouse. <laughs> over. Okay, it's out of time. I say again, I have heavy forces defending blockhouse. Proceeding through objective will advise shortly out. I didn't mean to throw like a nade at the thing either. Just, this game has really weird controls.
you go down. I'm just gonna not stop firing until I see you. That's a lot of damage. Also, I don't think these guys are Russians. I think these guys are Chechens. Which is weird because you think the Americans would support a terrorist group like the well, I mean the Chechens aren't terrorists. Um, but they don't like being part of Russia. And they actively fight against Russia. So these might be Russian soldiers just occupying Chechnya. Chechnya. Yeah, I'll take that. Blockhouse made safe, minimal resistance, proceeding to RV. Out. Minimal Minimal resistance. You guys hear that shit? Minimal resistance. The Merjanki farm. That's the farm he was talking about in the cutscene. Dumb enough to survive. Fools. My, they like passed through that dude and hit the explosive and still didn't get him. Dude made out of steel. I also like the health, the uh, health gauge, the uh, Ammo gauge, it's kind of cool. You don't see much of those anymore, which is nice. I mean... So this is one of the heavy armor guys. You usually take about two shots with the shotgun to go down, but they also have a shotgun, so be careful. But these are the guys. They also have a ballistic... Uh, Face shield, but I blew that off, so. Area clear, oh, moving in. Look at that. This would make an awesome like slender map. <laughs> or like another Two horror game. Three. Message over. I pulled the charging handle with so much, like, malicious intent. I just pulled, like, oh yeah, people are gonna die today. You guys are... Okay, you guys are dead. Okay, I lied, the farm is not over the hill. I forgot how long this mission is. And it sucks that I can only walk everywhere. Yeah, there's the farm. I guess that's kind of over the hill. I, I said up the hill, but you know, whatever. So this is, a, this is another cool part of this mission. This is the last bit here. Uh, you have to defend yourself. 
Farmhouse now. I say again, Farmhouse now RV is empty. What is your situation? This is 2-1. You're to sweep and clear the area for intel. We'll contact you at figures 2-0. Out. Well, they're finally talking to me again. So yeah, this is all gonna get real, real dicey pretty quick here. Once you search everything here. You notice there's a lot of stuff lying around for you to pick up. A lot of uh, explosives just happen to be lying around. A few real big ones. Hello? Seven main. Three, this is two oh. one. I have eyes on. Stand two, enemy advancing on your location. What how did they get up here so quick? Request covering fire. Probably just spawned in. We got more hostiles coming in. Negative three cannot compromise our position. Two one out. Good thing I blew up. At that, I believe that means this is. That's the one thing with Russian is that Atta usually means this is or this or it can have a whole bunch of different um, meanings. So that's all the intel. That's all the intel on this mission. There are no more collectibles, I think. I think that's everything. Boom! I was shooting the door. <laughs> But we all know if bullets have a, if uh, cars have enough bullets in them, they will explode. This is two one. We have eyes on hostiles and surrounding buildings. Clear the area. We will support from our location. Over. Okay, so you will get some help here. So you just have to go out and clear all the outbuildings, which are these guys here. Neat. I don't know. I don't think anyone's in this one. Yeah, no. no. Oh, there's someone here. Oh, no, that's outside. Yeah, these are a really good way to do this, is you hit these towers. Close the surrounding buildings. Oh, I got two guys there. I also love the music for this game. It's just... It fits pretty well. It's always a sense of foreboding. Even though I'm not 100% sure on what the whole story of this game is. I've, I've played it so many times and I still don't know the story. Um, good 
we gotta go back up here. What building have I gone into? It's not this one. What is this one? Ooh. Where did he go? That's a very cool mission. That's one of my favorites. I love that mission. Oh, the recon objective. I forgot that one. There's uh, recon objectives. They give you maps of the next uh, location. But they don't really do anything. They don't give you like a HUD or like a map HUD or anything. So, uh, Nezran Town. Nezran? Yeah, Nezran Town is next. Really, this is a game that you could sit down and complete in about six hours. <laughs> Back then, that's how long games were. They'd be about six hours long. Uh, hell, this game, if you really knew what you were doing and just kept pushing, you could probably do it in about maybe four or five hours. But I like to do videos in parts, and this one is, uh, longer than I wanted it to be. But they'll all be about this long after this point. So don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, I will see you guys in the next one.